everyone! Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Today I'll be sharing this little purse gift bag inspired by a Tiffany & Company purse that I saw. And I just think it's so cute and this die set is fabulous. It's by Concord and Ninth. It's called the Everyday Purse Set and it can make cards, it can make gift bags. All of the little embellishments come with this to be super creative and do it a million different ways. So the other thing that I used was the Lawn Fawn Put a Bow on it. And this set comes with three sizes of bows. I'm using the smallest. So I'm really showing how to combine different cuts of cardstock to create one purse. And so I cut out three whites and one of the blue. And you can see here that I'm going to be piecing this together and it's super easy, but the straps were also multicolored. And what I wanted to show here is the first one I made, I cut those strap pieces straight. So you can see that they're, they're just straight there, but what the problem is with that is they buckle. So I'm going to be showing you another way to do this if you wanted to create per, uh, purse straps that were multicolored. I started out with four of the white and two of the blue, stacked two together and cut at a diagonal rather than straight. And then I glued both pieces to a base piece, which was white, and they fit together like a puzzle. And it's super easy. The trick is also to let these dry before you try to start manipulating them and bending them. So I would put them under a weight to dry while I was working on the other one and then just give that just a little bit of time. Now they would have been fine left as just a double layer there because the white piece is kind of providing a backing for that. But I went ahead and tripled the purse strap layers and so uh, they, there are two white layers underneath the top layer that you see. Next, I stacked a blue and white layer together and I cut them at the same time. I want these to be exact between the two because these one of each is going to fit on the front and one of each will fit on the back. Because we have just split into four pieces of paper, we need something for them to be glued on so that they're not just a bunch of individual pieces. So I've die cut just the purse layer to glue each one of these halves that I cut and this kind of creates a, a base to keep the halves together. And I do the same thing for the back, except that I don't need the colored pieces for that. So I am using the full back layer for that support of the gift box, but on the back side, I'm actually gluing each half on, um, you know, because the back side's just kind of for show anyway. But again, the base, having that all one piece will provide the, um, the strength of the box. I hope that makes sense. So we have one side on the left there that is split and one side that is a solid bottom. And then I'll take the, the bottom of the box and just uh, score on all of the score lines, including the little creases that allow the little purse bag to close. And it's a lot easier to do those right now than when the box is already put together. So I just run a little quick little crease on those and then we are good to go. So the next step is to glue the split base onto the solid base of the box. So this can be done on the outside and that's how I like to do it. I accidentally put it on the inside here, but you could do this the other way too so that the, uh, the colors are showing. As it stands now, the bottom of the box will be white, if that makes sense. So next, I'm just going to be putting on some different little embellishments. This is the little purse topper. And again, this is just how I created this, but this could be done. I mean, what a great die set to be able to have so much um, possibility with ways that it could be decorated. So this is what it looks like as of right now. Now that the purse straps have had plenty of time to dry and get nice and stiff, I went ahead and started in with the little metal grommets that they will be attached to. And these are decorative grommets, but for the front of the purse, I doubled up on these. So the silver layers are two layers, and you put one on each side. This is the front of the purse. The back, again, was just kind of decorative, so I just did one on those. But the reason I did two and I wanted them a little bit stronger is because I'm going to be attaching um, a little decorative element with a jump ring and I just wanted it to be nice and sturdy and not easily ripped. So I did not glue back behind those jump rings on the front, I did on the back. And then 
I'm just putting this under weight to dry again. The key with these purses is to just let them get good and, and uh, connected with that glue in between each, each step. And so here I am just doing the back and you just kind of bend that little um, area around. I'm not worried about you know, shaping it yet. I just want those grommets to be glued. Now that they're glued and they've had a time, a chance to set up, now I can go in and adjust that purse strap the way I want it to be. And it's so much easier when they were cut at an angle so that they don't buckle. Next, I just went ahead and made the little bow from Lawn Fawn, and I put a little curve in it, and then you attach a little bit of glue in the center and wrap each of those um, uh, bow sides to the center so they meet in the center and then there's a little piece that hangs down um, that is kind of the little tie of the bow and that just flips up and glues to whatever glue you put and this is what it looks like these are so cute I love making bows and then I put one Swarovski crystal right in the center and I do like the Swarovskis because there's extra bling but any any uh, little crystals would be cute there Next, I'm going ahead and covering up the bottom of those jump rings, adding on some more embellishments, and then it's just time to put the box together. So I put some glue on each one of the flaps and glued it together. And again, it's just a super simple process. And because I already creased those little creases, it already closes just beautifully. And this is my little purse bag. So next, I went ahead and assembled the little um, heart, and I made a little leather, um, a little leather thing. It comes with the die. I wound up taking that off because I just liked the little heart um, uh, tag there with it. I put a mini bottle of nail polish in here, but they are great for treats, for placeholders with little treats in them, for gift cards, perfect for gift cards. What a fun project. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a good day.